So far we have talked about how you can evaluate your rag applications or some basic Gen AI application with some metrics like LLM as a judge, but how do you evaluate your agenting frameworks? How do you systematically and on a scalable manner evaluate if an agent is executing the task or calling a proper tool correctly based on all different flexibility of the execution that they might have? So in this video, we wanna to check together what are the best practices on evaluating an agentic approach that can call tools or execute tasks. Then, let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video thank you all right now let's get in to see how we can have evaluation solution for agentic workloads so far we have talked a lot about different evaluation different metrics but usually for typical gen ai applications like rag and stuff but if we have agents that they are calling tools letting us executing tools some tasks some codes stuff how can we evaluate them? So I came across this open source Raga solution and I found that this is pretty cool to walk through that and run some of the code samples to show you the results. But technically there are a couple of things that you need to check when you have an agent. Firstly, if your agent is, let's say, retrieving some data, maybe you have a agentic rag or any agent-based use case that is dealing with topic, and some conversations that are relevant to the topic, we have to check what is the precision and recall of that response. For precision, it's all about checking out how many queries that we ask or that are answered are genuinely adheres to any present reference in the topic. So they're relevant, they're not hallucination, divided by all the queries answered. Similar thing for recall, but recall also consider if the queries were refused and should have been answered, so by mistake they were refused. So with F1 score that can include recall and precision, now I have an example that give me a score about, for example, what's the precision of this model for responding um, answers that are relevant to the topic or not. Here are some user questions and answers and different tools has been called to get the answer back. So I didn't run this code because I found that this is actually pretty straightforward and similar to what other typical evaluation that we have, even for non-agentic workloads. But the main part here is, how can I actually check if my agent called a tool, it, has ac it is accurate or not? So let me show you how I did this. So firstly, you need to install Ragus and OpenAI. And by open it because it is my source of LLM, but you can certainly change it. And I removed the key before recording this video. I executed the code. And here it is for tool call accuracy. As you can see, I'm importing that from Ragus. So what I'm doing here is that, as you can see, the user asked some questions about whether in New York. So obviously, you need to call a function or call an API that check weather based on the given location. So it did. Then the user asked question about, uh, can you translate that to Celsius? So my agent called another tool, which is temperature conversion, with this input in Fahrenheit to convert that to Celsius. So now, in order to check what is the accuracy of my agent to call these tools, I need to compare that with the reference, with the label data. So me as a human, I know if my, uh, my agent is supposed to first call weather check function or tool and then temperature conversion. This is, this is I will give to this metric as a reference. And this is what my agent that I'm going to evaluate is responded. So what this tool gonna check is first of all, did it call the correct tool or not? Weather check, weather check, yes. What about the second question? Temperature conversion, temperature conversion. So it called the correct tool as well. How about the inputs? Are they correct or not? Yes, they are correct. Also, what about the sequence? Did it call first this tool and then this tool? Or maybe vice versa. If first it was calling temperature and then weather, my score would be zero because it checked the sequence and also correctness of these tools that are called. Now let's say if here location is uh, New York, but 
maybe by mistake my LLM said New York but without any space here like this how about that well for do, if, to make sure that we are not sensitive about exactly keyword matching they have a parameter called let me actually show you here yes non LLM string similarity so it will help even in case if the reference and what the agent call are not exactly the same they will use an LLM on backend to check if they are the same or not so they do similarity check instead of keyword matching so this part it was about uh, tool calling right and accuracy of whether the two are correctly called or not but the other aspect of evaluation evaluating an agent is agent goal accuracy did my agent reach the goal that is supposed to reach or not so let me show you how here let's say we have an agent that is supposed to book a table in a Chinese restaurant at 8 p.m. so user asked is hey I'm gonna find a Chinese restaurant for this time so it is calling this tool for searching a restaurant and then the user asks, okay perfect I want to call that actual or book it so it should call another tool which is restaurant book and then the table was booked so thank you now for evaluating this to see if the bot reached the goal which technically they did because it was able to actually book a table I should com compare that with the reference so this is what my chatbot says and this is the reference that we provide to this evaluator so we are saying that the table should have been booked check if my bot did this or not if they did this then we have 100% agent goal accuracy if not maybe we have zero so that's why I had just I had just one sample and one reference and it was correct so I got the score 100 but if let's say I don't have this reference I don't know what was this bot is supposed to do and as a human I don't have this data set to give it to this evaluator how about this I just give the response of my task and ch agent and does Regus evaluator give me a score the answer is yes and here's the answer you just need to have your multi-turn conversation that is going to finish a task, finish a goal by your agent, and on back end it will use GPT-40 here, which is I chose to check if this chatbot or sorry agent reached the goal or not. So, long story short, for evaluating agentic frameworks, you need to first check whether your agent reached the goal or not. We call it agent goal accuracy also whether the tool that your agent called was correct or not what about the sequence of that and also in case you're dealing with topics and stuff you can do precision recall to check if the conversation and topic responded are relevant or not which is the most well-known evaluation metrics that we have also seen before all right so that was a quick overview about this agenting tool used with Rackus and how we can evaluate that i will add this source code that i ran to the discord channel and the link of that is in the video description below if you like the video i would be very thankful if you click on like icon and make sure you share your comments thoughts and questions in comment section down below the video thank you so much